live from the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. It's the Cube covering DevNet Create 2018. Brought to you by Cisco. Hey, welcome back, everyone. We're here live with the Cube in, in Mountain View, California, for exclusive coverage of Cisco DevNet Create. I'm John Furrier with my co-host today, Lauren Cooney, and our next guest is Mandy Whaley, who's the Director of Developer Experience at Cisco DevNet, been on multiple times. She's also the key person here in the DevNet community on the Cisco side, putting all this together with Susie Wee and the team. Great to have you back. Thank you. You look fabulous. Really so, excited to be here. Great job on the stage today. I want to just quickly get the news out there. You've got some new things going on here at this event that's new, but it's building on top of what you guys did at your inaugural event. Yes, yes. So one of the new things that we added this year is called Camp Create. And the idea with it was we wanted to have a builder track for our people that wanted to come and actually code the whole time that they were here. Um, we, we put together a specific sort of experience for them. And it's not a hackathon, but it has hackathon elements. We started with um, six use cases that we outlined originally gave them all the technology here on site. So they're actually using location services from the, the wireless network here. We've got collaboration equipment, we've got um, things from the Google partnership we brought in. And these six teams all picked a use case and they're building furiously and they're going to present their uh, final demos tomorrow. One of the teams is even doing like an Oculus Rift kind of thing. That's That'll great. Be cool. So, so how many, how much time do these folks have? So they started this morning at eight, and they're finishing tomorrow at three. So will they stay up all night? They, many of them are uh, thinking to stay up all night. That's awesome. So, so let's just get the the, the, in the numbers. So Camp yeah. Create is six teams of five people over, over six use cases. Six different use over, cases. Two, two days. days. That's right. So they have to pick a use case or they have to do all six? They are each picking, each team picks a use case. One use case. So and codes away as a, yes. as a team. And, and they can, there's parameters in the use case, but there's also a lot of room for creativity to yeah. add to it. Yeah. Uh, so we're interested to see how those come together. And we started, this is our first year, we had um, a waiting list of people who were wanting to get into Camp Create. So we plan to grow it next year. And maybe we thought, maybe have 12 teams on the six use cases and then have the two teams face off <laughs> on who has the best solution. So Can't that create could be madness. Fun. You got to do a qualifying oh, round. Yeah, whole, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, John's going to be you'll a have judge. Brackets. <laughs> I want to work with you on this. Awesome. I love the idea. Awesome. Can't create. Check it out. Congratulations. I love the, love the formula. Thank it creates com com competitiveness with collaboration, makes it fun. But that's part of your program here, fun as well. That's right, we definitely want to have fun. So we wanted this DevNet Create to be a lot about the community connections that form, and you generally have an easier time to do that when you're having yeah. fun. So a lot of hands-on, a lot of time for community members to connect. And you get the Tech Talks are back, right? Tech Talks are what back. Are, what's the topics this week on the Tech Talks? So we've got topics ranging from you know, DevOps practices and patterns to, um, IOT and blockchain, and um, we have a lot even around developer experience and API experience, which I'm super excited about. Mm -hmm. And then we have all the hands-on workshops where you can actually go and sit and code and get hands-on with many open source projects, with you know different yeah. platforms from our partners, all kinds of stuff. That's awesome. great. Yeah. Uh, there's also a big emphasis on the microservices and Kubernetes because of the, the Google partnership that we brought in this year. Has that weaved in the Istio stuff? Yeah. Has that weaved in, and where has that kind of made its way into the either workshops, mini hacks, and things you got going on? It's in um, pretty much all of them. So one of the things we've been excited about is our Istio sandbox. So our DevNet sandbox, where developers can try out all kinds of different platforms. We have an Istio one that it's set up. It has some some rails on it, some use cases, so it's easy for people who maybe yeah. aren't familiar with Istio to really yeah. try it out. So we have some challenges here around that. And then definitely a lot of workshops that are covering you know, different cloud native yeah. topics. So. Well you guys do a great job. I, I, this is our, the second event. Last year was phenomenal. DevNet in the booth at Cisco Live in Barcelona was great. We'll be at uh, Cisco Live in Orlando. What's it like now internally at Cisco? Because the Cisco developer program, I mean we kind of, I've watched it you know, from the kernel of a handful of one person <laughs> to two people to three people, <laughs> and then all of a sudden internal politics says, we're a routing company, we're a networking company. So now Cisco has evolved itself into a full-blown, almost a half a million, billion people, uh, I mean half a million people 
um, think about Facebook's scale, but <laughs> half a million people almost in the DevNet community. Right. And you got the Create, which is now the cloud native. How's That's it right. going? What's the team look like? What are you guys excited it's about? It's going great. The team has been growing, but growing thoughtfully and um, intentionally in how we want to grow it. The community has been amazing because we really have been working hard to bring together these two audiences are uh, networking and infrastructure developers who are moving into DevOps, doing more automation, starting to use APIs, and then connecting them with the application developers who work in yeah. the enterprise, and really working to get that conversation together and show kind of the value of Cisco to both of them. So, and we've seen growth in both. This, yeah. this conference more on, is more about the application developers. Um, and, and that is you know, a, a big growing part of it. I got to say, I've seen a natural progression between network uh, engineers, network developers with cloud because anyone who's done any kind of configuration or provisioning of anything That's right. is, knows, can go to the cloud instantly. It's just like, oh my God. And then you got containers, a concept that's well understood yes. by network engineers, and they write software. So not a lot of learning. I mean, some learning language, but it's, it's not a big leap. It's not a big leap, and, and it's, it's such a technically proficient group of people anyway who are fast learners, and so it's, it's definitely um, an easy way forward for them. And then yeah. what we try to do is, you know, our, our edge compute, for instance, that's deploy a Docker container. So the developers already know how to do that. It's using tools they're familiar yeah. with. Mm -hmm. So trying to connect that from both sides. It's like a fish taking a water, you know? I mean, it's not that hard. You just <laughs> jump right in. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, now the cloud native really gets exciting when you talk about what Kubernetes is enabling. Because now you're true at a true DevOps world. Yes. Where the people who don't want to touch the network at all still need to have some enablement. Where, hey, there's this, in that world, it's like, I'm coding away on my apps, that's all I care about. I don't want to get down in the weeds under the hood on provisioning stuff or right. any kind of programmability. Where's and that kick in? Where's that cross? Yeah, so, so you definitely, for the groups that do want to work at that level, you want to enable that for sure and get all the acceleration you can. And then, um, like the, our guest speaker from Google this morning said, he was like, hybrid cloud is, is real and it's also hard. Um, and there's, a, there's challenges, and so I think the Google partnership with Cisco and Cisco DevNet is to really work through those challenges, make, make it real, and, and find the ways through those challenges. So we're trying to bring, again, kind of those two worlds together. Where are the together. connection points with the Google relationship? Is it Istio, is it uh, Kubernetes? Istio is part of it, Kubernetes. Um, there's, there's use cases for connecting on-prem to cloud services and then connecting cloud applications to on-prem things. So it's really yeah. about enabling all of those different use cases. And those best practices that these developers right. across environment need to actually right. deliver these applications to the cloud or pull them back on-prem. That's right, and, and how do they learn maybe the piece that they don't already know whichever side of that equation they're coming from. Yeah. So some of our DevNet audience, we started doing, you know, containers 101. Like if you don't know about containers, yeah. here's how you learn it. Uh, it's, get started with Istio, so connecting mm -hmm. those, those dots. Well Mandy, great to see you. Congratulations. Yes. Camp Create. Thank you, yeah. I want to get in. Okay, put we're a team doing together. the bracket next year and, and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do sure. the whole qualifying. <laughs> yes, Just definitely. Northern California, Southern California. <laughs> and then bring Regional. the best of the best <laughs> for a face-off cage match. Okay, are you going to plan it? That's great. Yeah, of like course. You, plan it you can plan it, I'll yeah. judge. Awesome, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Thank you. I love anything to do with camping, but uh, appreciate it, thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Thank you, bringing you all the action here at DevNet Create here in Silicon Valley, Mountain View, California. Be right back with more after this short break. Thanks so much.